Want to see more cool videos on our channel? We do, so press this bell and enable to send notifications. Number 7. New Smyrna Beach New Smyrna Beach in Volusia County, Florida is a great place to surf and to swim with sharks. The waters off New Smyrna possess large populations of fish, which in turn attracts many sharks. Combine that with the beach's aforementioned popularity with surfers, and you have a beach that is considered the shark attack capital of the world by the International Shark Attack File. Scientists estimate that anyone who swims at New Smyrna Beach will pass within 3 meters, 10 feet of a shark. Bull sharks, a notoriously aggressive species, have been caught in the area. Volusia County in general, fueled primarily by New Smyrna Beach, also has a reputation for shark bites. In 2008, over one-third of all unprovoked shark attacks in the world occurred in the waters off the county coast. On top of that, the state of Florida logged more attacks between 2004 and 2013 than both Australia and South Africa combined. Number 6. Samasian Hole The Gulf of Thailand contains a deep point described as a black, silty hole of death. Named for a nearby fishing village, the Samasian Hole is the deepest diving site in the Gulf of Thailand, dropping down to 85 meters, 280 feet. Divers braving the hole must deal with the strong currents in the region, as well as the fact that it lies in a busy traffic zone for oil tankers. Barracuda also populate the area, and visibility is very poor as one descends. To top it all off, the U.S. Navy previously used Samasian Hole as an ammunition dump, leaving the site littered with unexploded ordnance. So who would want to jump into Samasian Hole? Number 5. Bubbly Creek A name like Bubbly Creek might sound harmless and inviting, but the waterway itself is not. Bubbly Creek is the local name for the South Fork of the South Branch of the Chicago River. In the early 20th century, the flow of the Chicago River was reversed, sending it toward the Mississippi River and away from Lake Michigan in order to keep the river's pollution from entering the city's source of drinking water. This reversal has made the river all the more difficult to clean up in the years since. Bubbly Creek is considered the worst part of the river. It gets its name from bubbles rising to the surface from the area's chief pollutant, decomposing animal carcasses. Meatpacking waste, including blood, manure, urine, and various body parts was dumped into the channel by the nearby Union Stockyard for over a century. These bubbles still appear even today as the creek is so polluted that very little lives there, slowing decomposition. Bloodworms are said to inhabit the creek, feeding on the waste. In 2014, a study found a layer of animal remains on the creek bed that is one meter, three feet thick. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is working on a project to dredge Bubbly Creek as well as improve the water's oxygen content. Number 4. Horseshoe Lake Horseshoe Lake in California has everything one could ever want for an outdoor excursion. Boating, swimming, sandy beaches, picnic areas, hiking trails, and over 40 hectares, 100 acres of dead trees. That last, more unique feature is the result of a series of small earthquakes in 1989 and 1990. These quakes opened pathways for carbon dioxide to rise to the surface from magma below, eventually killing the trees. While there is little danger of a volcanic eruption, a potentially lethal risk lurks in the Horseshoe Lake area, as the gas levels fluctuate unpredictably. A family could have a picnic on the lake one year and be asphyxiated the next, Warning signs are posted around Horseshoe Lake to inform visitors of the danger. Number 3. Kaipu Falls In Kauai, Hawaii, there's a group of beautiful waterfalls that, until recently, was this destination's tourist hotspot. They're called Kaipu Falls, and until they were closed to the public in 2011, they were an extremely popular place for swimming and diving. In order to reach this, you'd have to walk along a dirt path for a while until you'd be rewarded by the sight of a 20-foot waterfall crashing into a crystal-clear pool below. And why was this area fenced off from tourists? Well, it's also been a hotspot for tons of injuries and deaths. Obviously, some people were hurt while jumping from the top of the waterfall, but many deaths weren't so easy, if at all possible to explain. Witnesses recount some swimmers peacefully bathing in the pool at the bottom of the falls, then simply drowned without any obvious reason. They just all of a sudden disappeared under the surface, 
never to be seen again. Their bodies were later retrieved from the very bottom. The locals believe that the water spirit Mo'o drags people down because it doesn't like to be disturbed by noisy tourists. Others think there's a powerful whirlpool raging at the bottom. Whatever the case, authorities have ordered travel guide publishers not to mention Kaipu Falls anymore, and trespassing carries a heavy punishment. Definitely not worth it. Number 2. The Strid The river wharf in Yorkshire, England is an extremely narrow part called the Strid, which is a local variation of stride. This section is so narrow that you could literally leap across it, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. In fact, just stepping into this babbling brook isn't a good idea. The wharf itself has an extremely strong current, and due to the narrowness of the strid, that current gets even stronger in this area. The sheer force of the moving water has cut cavities into the surrounding limestone that are much deeper than the rest of the river bottom. But that's not the end of the story. That same powerful current has also weakened the banks of the strid and undercut them from below. That means that the place where you're standing and staring at the rapid flow is most likely a frail ledge hanging over dangerous waters. People who are unlucky enough to fall into the strid or ignorant enough to try and enter the water were instantly pulled to the bottom. Over the years, nobody who's gotten into the river has ever made it out alive. And you wouldn't know the threat just by looking at this tiny, narrow, moving body of water. And that's the scariest part of all. Number 1. Hanakapiai Beach The islands of Hawaii are well known for their beaches, but some of those beaches weren't meant for swimming. Hanakapiai Beach on Kauai's Napali coast is one of them. Yet another beautiful but potentially deadly location, the beach lies at the end of a steep, rocky 3.2-kilometer or 2-mile trail. Hanakapiai's remoteness means that there are no lifeguards and no hope of immediate rescue. This only adds to the beach's primary danger, powerful rip currents capable of pulling even strong, experienced swimmers out to sea. These rip currents are almost always present, as there is no reef to protect the beach's shores. Also, the geography of the region is such that the nearest safe beach is 10 kilometers or 6 miles away. There is simply nowhere to go. More people have drowned at Hanakapiai than any other beach in Kauai. The bodies of 15 drowning victims have never been recovered. A sign stands on the beach with a tally mark for each drowning. There are over 80 marks. Visitors are advised to stay out of the water entirely. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.